Hi everybody, this is Jean Paul from the Rock Band Clutch, and I would like to tell you a little bit about the symbols that I used on our newest album, Psychic Warfare. For hi-hats, I used a pair of Meinl 14-inch vintage pure hi-hats. I'm quite a fan of these hi-hats. They have uh, a lot of crunch to them. They kind of have a breakbeat kind of sound. They're very musical. What I like best about them is they don't ever get too harsh or too bright. And for me, that's very important. I want to be able to get a lot of sounds out of them. And sometimes symbols are too bright and they become sort of one-dimensional. And that's definitely not the case with, with uh, all these symbols. For a crash above my hi-hat, I used a 22-inch vintage crash. This symbol is quite deceiving. It's very big, uh, but it's very light as well. And I can get a lot of sounds on it. It's capable of uh, making very soft crashes. You can really lay into it too, and it's very explosive. It's a fast sound, and this is a 20-inch vintage crash. Quite similar to the 22, very round sound again, very light, very versatile. So that symbol played a big part of the recording. Oftentimes, I would uh, substitute the 20-inch over here for maybe a faster song. In this case, I'm using both of them for a ride cymbal. I'm playing a 22 inch sand ride. And this has been a, uh, a fun symbol for me to play. It's got a really great bell on it. The overall sound is quite washy. And so it really lends itself to some songs. On other songs, I used a 23 inch medium ride. And this is really a workhorse symbol for me. I use this pretty much exclusively live. It was fun for the studio to be able to change between the two and you know, really think about the track and, and what symbols would best complement the song and the mix. When you first get a symbol, um, it comes out like it's like just a, a blob of, of, of uh, alloy. And so they literally beat that symbol into shape. And so you can see the hammer marks on here. Um, these symbols are great because they're handmade, hand hammered. And because of that, each one is individual. Uh, the second step of the process is lathing. And so in this particular case, we have some very fine lathes. And the lathing completely changes the character of, this, of the symbol and how it plays. So in this case, we have a symbol that is lathed uh, on the outside and on the inside of the bell. And then the top side is lathed entirely and uh, the bell is left raw. So the bell has a sort of a softer, uh, truer sound. Uh, not quite as refined. So there you have it. Thanks very much to Mino for all the support over the years and most of all making beautiful sounding symbols.